Welcome back everybody to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we're going to continue working on repairing the Falcon of Freedom. Um, so I was looking at some stuff here and I've what I kind of figured out what's going on here. So basically what we have to do is we have to repair these things to get them out of that slot and free up that cargo slot to, uh, to use and likewise up here. So some of these things I think we can fix on this planet, particularly anything that needs um what's it called uh paraffinium um so because there is paraffinium on this planet so what we're gonna do is we're going to work on on getting that and i have a paraffinium deposit already uh earmarked over there now i have um i've repaired all the the critical subsystems except for the hyperdrive we can't repair that until we get three microprocessors, um, but I've repaired the shields, the launch thruster, and the pulse engine, uh, and the photon cannon, and we've got this lattice here. Um, can I... Here, let's move that and move that over just so that way we're getting the benefit from there. Uh, okay, so we can't move this stuff until we repair it, though. And also, if you look at the the stats on the ship, you, you can see that it's not at full potential. And I think as we repair this stuff, uh, this will uh, come to full potential there. Okay, so I currently have in this ship, let's count something here. I currently have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cargo slots that I can currently use. Um, if we look in our ship over here, we have, yeah, see, we have more than nine slots that are being used here. Now, there's a couple things in here we could do. Uh, I really don't care about this stuff, so let's get rid of that. We can break these open for pure ferrite. Uh, we can break these open for more tritium. And we do actually have one microprocessor here, too. Um, okay, so we have some launch fuel. So what is this? One, two, three. The ferrite dust is, um, in fact, let's move that to our exosuit as it is. Uh, we'll move the chromatic metal to our exosuit. Um, this is not a big deal. Let's just get rid of that. Um, okay, so what does that leave us with then in terms of slots? It leaves us with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so we have 14 slots up here. Um, and we only have nine available. So if we can, if we can get, if we can open up 14 slots on that ship to get this stuff moved over, then uh, we can, get, then we can take off if, if we decide to, to do so. Um, now we also have room, however, in our exosuit too. We don't have a ton of room, but we have some room. So, uh, well, that's actually worth quite a bit of money. I had to kill a. A creature that attacked me so that's where that came from and I'm just kind of looking here okay what is this that's dihydrogen do we have any dihydrogen in the starship we do not okay um let's look over here again pure ferrite do we have pure ferrite in our exosuit we do okay so let's move the pure ferrite here over to our suit okay and that frees up another slot we have 500 cobalt there do we have any cobalt in our exosuit it does not appear that we do okay this we could well that's worth 7200 units Let's see here. Starship. We don't want to get rid of that because it's just worth a lot of money. 
Let's move this platinum to our suit here because I know there were some things that required platinum to be fixed. All right, let's hop out of here. Okay, so what... Okay, so this thing requires platinum pugnium, which we can get by killing some critters, and some chromatic metal. Anything else require platinum? I think dioxide and oxygen, we can just make that by by uh, refining a dihydrogen. So we could probably fix that. We could fix that with more chromatic metal. We can fix this right now. Okay, so let's fix that right now. Good. Okay, so that opened up that slot. Fantastic. Anything else that needs... Um, platinum. Okay, that needs platinum. We only have eight left. That needs platinum, too. And we can get platinum from space or from caves. There's a few things that need chromatic metal, too. So why don't we take all of the copper that we currently have and refine that into chromatic metal. So we have... A half a stack of copper and we can make up to 125 okay so let's do that and while we're waiting for that we're gonna need some pugnium by killing critters and we're gonna need some paraphidium um, since we don't need to worry about hazards issues in the uh, in this planet or on this planet rather uh, why don't we just I just want to make sure I can make enough of these guys and we have a decent amount of oxygen too. Okay, let's just hoof it over here instead of flying over here. We'll save ourselves a launch fuel and we'll just kind of keep our stuff together. Oh, here's a knowledge stone. So that guy there uh, attacked us last time. Let's do this knowledge stone. We learned the gek word for not. Okay. So if we get our bolt caster on, is he... Are you angry? Offer food. Hmm. I don't know why the other one attacked us, because this guy doesn't seem to be angry with us, so... Plus, there's a sentinel right there anyway, so we don't want to do that while the sentinels are on. Okay, well, let's go get some paraffinium over here, then. And I might try and sneak into a cave for some more... Uh, platinum, too, if we can manage that. There's one more critter on this planet that we haven't scanned yet. Um, so, you know, we'll be on the lookout for that, too. Oh, we haven't scanned whatever that is. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay, this does go down into a cave here of sorts. Uh, well, it really only goes this far. Can we scan anything down here? Not really. Okay, well, let's just come back out of here then. And this is the paraffinium right here. Okay, so let's mine this up. So we want to switch to our mining laser, and we want to make sure that it's on the smallest setting. And let's get a bunch of paraffinium. Nice. Okay, I think we have discovered all of the fauna on this planet. Seven of seven. And then we've discovered six minerals and eight flora so far. Very good. Okay, so our um, our refiner ran out of fuel. Is he? Is he? He's uh, he's going after that guy. Check it out. How interesting. 
Uh, yeah, so anyway, our refiner ran out of fuel, so we had to, uh, or I had to refill it because it's currently working on uh, chromatic metal. So I think we're just going to let it finish. Uh, well, it's almost done here anyway. Okay, so let's put this in our exosuit. Now, I'm just curious. We've got um, over two stacks of paraffin. What is this? Well, that just breaks down to ferrite dust, which we don't want to do. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to kill some critters and get some uh, <coughs> some of the stuff that I can't remember what the heck it's called. It's that purple stuff that you get when you kill critters. Because um, with that and the paraffinium, we'll be able to uh, repair some more of our ship. We don't want the sentinel, you know, to see us doing this, of course, though. So we got to be sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. So let's go ahead and. Okay, we killed him. We got some feline liver and some mordite. Yeah, that's the stuff I was talking about, mordite. Okay, let's take this one out. He did. And this one. It's for science. Well, actually, no, it's for repairing our ship. <laughs> We're just telling it ourselves it's for science, so that way we don't feel so bad about killing all these innocent creatures here. Uh oh. Sorry, nope, uh, it wasn't me. Move along, nothing to see here. That was close. <laughs> He's angry. And he's dead. We got 34 more night from that. We are a rambler. We've traveled 25 KS. Look at us and our bad selves. Our bad rambling selves. Let's head back to the ship and just see where we're at now. Did we already do this knowledge stone? I don't remember if we did or not. Let's find out. We have not. Uh, you've learned the geck word for units. Okay. Sorry, dude, we just need your giblets. Okay, we got giblets. Let's grab the chromatic. Um, oh, looks like we already did. Okay. Let's hop into here. Okay, what can we repair? We can repair this hull fracture for a hundred chromatic metal. That was expensive. Okay, that opened up a slot for us, good. Um, now, let's see here, we need, we need pugnium, nah, okay, hold on a second. I was thinking it was the mordite that we need, we need pugnium. Uh, okay, is there anything else then? We can get gold up in space, activated copper, I'm not even sure what that is unless we put chromatic metal back in the thing. Alright, we could fix this, we just need to put some um, dihydrogen in the thing. How do we get pugnium? Uh, we ran out of copper to fix this. Pirate phosphorus. Activated copper. Ah, oh, shoot. I was thinking that the pugnium was the purple stuff we got from taking the, the critters out. Okay, well, there's a couple of these, three of these that we could do uh, with making dioxide. So let's go over here. Uh, I want to make sure that I have in my inventory. Ooh, that's worth some money, actually. We don't have any room left. Oh, nuts. Okay. Um, just 
trying to think, what should we do here? Let's get rid of this. I hate to do it, but we, we need to free up some space here. Um, now, I want to make sure that I have... Uh, we still don't have enough room. Okay. Let's just get rid of this. We killed those those creatures for no reason, but it is what it is. Let's put that there, and then let's make another one. So I want to make sure we have at least one of these on hand before we start refining our dihydrogen. Okay, so if we go into here and we put dihy in there, we get... Oh, that... Ooh, that just goes into jelly. Ew, crap. Okay. Um, so I think... Unless I miss my calculations, I think we have fixed everything we could possibly fix right now without without leaving this planet. I'm not too worried about this stuff up here. It's the cargo space I want to clear up. So I don't know how we get Pugmium. That's, uh, I don't know how we get activated copper either. Unless we do that by putting chromatic metal in here. What happens if we try and put chromatic metal in here? Nothing. It doesn't do anything at all. Okay, never mind then. That isn't going to work either. Activated copper, antimatter, platinum, pirate phosphorus, metal plating. Uh, we Okay, so we could repair these things with some gold. We could repair the hull fracture if we go farm up some more copper. There was chlorine on that other planet. Uh, we could repair this if we can find some more platinum. But I don't know what about the pug meme. I'm not sure how we get that. Gather or refine, gather pugnium. Yeah, okay, I know that, but how do we get pugnium? Or see the log for more general tips. Select pugnium in the catalog for specific directions. Catalog. Um, it may not show up here. Because I don't think we've discovered it yet, maybe? Here we go. Prized by the Viking. Locate Pugnium milestone complete. Pugnium is released when Sentinels are... Oh, we gotta blow up Sentinels. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm, I don't know if we want to take on Sentinels yet. Okay, well, what we could do is we could try and find a cave to get some platinum. Or we could get platinum up in space, too. I don't know how we get dioxide. Uh, where did we... Whoops. Where did we see the dioxide? Let's look at that. Okay, here. View repair instructions. Uh, no. Let's go to the catalog. Fuel and utilities. Dioxide. Crafting components. I don't see dioxide there. I don't see it here. Okay, yeah, it's probably just because we haven't come across it yet, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Well, <clears throat> we could get platinum in space, we can get gold in space. The only thing is, I don't relish the idea of being attacked by pirates while we're in space. But isn't this supposed to be a gentile, gentile system? Uh, how do we know... How do we 
go to the system. Waypoints. Guess we maybe we have to be in space for that. All right, how many spots do we have now? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Okay, so we freed up 12 spots. So what we're going to do, I, I don't know if we'll ever, how, we're, how we would ever get this ship back. We, we technically own it, but I don't know how we get it back. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go in here. We want all of our star charts. Um, we want the Viking effigies. Okay, now let's go transfer over this this over to the new ship. Uh, ship. We need to ma make sure we leave room for our refiner as well. Okay, so let's move. Those over to there. 21,000 units. Why can't we consolidate those? Oh, because they're not the same thing. The icons look the same, but they're not exactly the same thing. Okay. Um, I'm going to get rid of this paraffinium. And I'm going to get rid of this cobalt. I think. Unless, yeah, let's actually use this cobalt to make more of these, rather than just throwing it away. Uh, okay, now now what we'll do is we'll get rid of the rest of this to free up some more space here. I think we want to hang on to the rest of this stuff at the moment. Okay, so let's go back to... Um, here. And let's move the effigies over into the spaceship. We'll move these meats over there. I'm hanging on to these meats because they're actually worth a decent amount of money. The navigation data sell at trade terminals. Mm, we might get rid of that. I don't know. I don't know if we should or not. Okay, so that gives us five, six, seven, eight, nine slots in our own inventory. Let's pick this up now so I don't forget. to take this, we want to take that, we want to take this, we have no more slots left, okay, let's go back to here, I, I'm reluctant to take on the sentinels because what happens is, if I remember correctly, what happens is they, you kill them and then they bring stronger ones and then you have to kill those and then they bring stronger ones. Unless, well, unless you kill them within a certain period of time. Maybe, I don't know. I don't remember. I don't feel like we're ready to do that quite yet though. Okay, let's transfer that over. We'll transfer this over. We'll transfer that over and this over okay so that leaves us four more slots let's go get the tritium out of here and then i guess we'll say goodbye to our radiant pillar unless there's some way we can recover it later so that we want to put in here okay that's it say goodbye to the radiant pillar goodbye radiant pillar You've served us well up to this point. All right, you guys, let's get off this planet. Primary starship switched. And um, what we want to do is let's get up to a space station. 
We now have an A-class ship, which is fantastic. Oh, we got another message coming in. Let's see what it has to say. Artemis Entity, Priest Entity Nada. We received your signal. Is it first? Is it last? Why is it calling us the Artemis Entity? Time for truth. You have their signal, but you are not Artemis Entity. Uh, nope, I'm not. Your signal is familiar to Nada. We have been in contact before, I think. We have. Okay. Uh, this would be a good time to come aboard. Yes, a proper introduction to our home. Sure. Oh, hey, look at that. Space Anomaly. All right, fantastic. Now, this is the hub that other, uh, other players can actually go to as well. This was brand new the last time I played in the in the Beyond update. All right, cool. All right, guys, let's take a look around and see what's going on here. That is a trippy looking ship right there. I think, I think one of the updates that, oh, wow, look at that. It took place uh, in the in the time between I played and didn't play was that you could get like living ships, like bio ships. Trippy, man. Okay, there's a lot of stuff for us to look at and discover here um i don't know that i'm going to go through everything at the moment what i want to do is i want to go talk to art or not artemis but um, nala and Togo. is that what their names are so i think we go up this way Yeah, here we go. Okay. Nada in Pogo. I'm Priest Entity Nada Divergent Corvax. Welcome to our anomaly. Our home here is pleasant. Yes, Polo's own design. A perfect bubble beyond the Sentinels, beyond Vengeful Corvax. Nada watches time come and go. All right, let's ask about the space station. Beyond what is outside, our anomaly wanders free, free like Nada, to observe, to search. The Sentinels, the Atlas, they do not care for this place. I feel their eyes hunting us. The Corvax watches me. There is a patient, an organic tilt to the way they hold their metal shell. All right, ask about Artemis. A traveler entity. Perhaps they are known to you. I do not know their number. Nada does not care to think about iterations as numbers. They were lost to us, highly improbable. Our anomaly is lost to the Sentinels, but none should be lost to the anomaly. Nada's carapace pulses with gentle light. There is something familiar about them. Ask about Nada. Nada awoke with the death of Korvax Prime. Could not understand why such things happen. Why we are alone. Now I am divergent. The convergence does not see through my eyes. Nada is not alone anymore. Nada is with Polo Friend. Now many other friends visit. Our convergence is small, but Nada is happy. The station has been calling to me since I woke up on the planet. Perhaps it called to Artemis as well. Ask about Polo. Polo friend found Nada. Found my signal. Nada is safe now. Now Nada finds other signals, makes others safe. Nada watches me, judges my reactions as they speak. Uh, okay. Sp uh, speak with Polo friend, traveler. Perhaps they might know more about missing Artemis. They perceive things more clearly than Nada. Okay, so apparently Nada is a Corvax who somehow or another separated himself from the hive mind of the Corvax, and he is now an independent Corvax. And the anomaly is some space station that they... I, I, I can't even explain it, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, okay. I know what it does, I just can't explain how it does it. Friends everywhere, if only you know where to look. Friends in all shapes, all sizes, all places. Artemis friend, you are where they should be. It does not seem possible, but all things are possible. Such is the universe. We will find them, no doubt. There is always a signal, always a trace. Ask how. Our home will see to it. When you leave, you will not be where you were. You will be closer. Or maybe not. Discovery is exciting, yes? Before you leave, perhaps spend some time with other friends. We all help each other here. 
We were so lonely, Nada and I, before we found each other. Before we found you, friend. All of you. So many friends to share this time with. You feel the same, I hope? Uh, okay. Speak to other travelers to earn nanites. Learn new technology blueprints. Browse a huge array of base parts and speak to Nada about Artemis. Nada and Polo drift between worlds and worlds. There are many. Have you seen them, traveler friend? Nada wishes they could. Nada regrets much. Alright, so they're just kind of talking mumbo jumbo to us at this point. All right, so there's a lot of stuff to do here, like I said, but I think what we need to do is wrap up this episode, and then maybe what we'll do is we'll start the next episode by looking around here before we continue on our voyage. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.